So I'm in Maya and I have my geometry here, view through my camera. This is of a sidewalk and a street. And if we look at the render here, you can see it, the sidewalk and the street. And then we have these other geometries that I don't have loaded in the scene right now, but making up the rest of the scene. And what I want to basically do is get the textures onto the sidewalk on the street. So I'm sh rendering this through the camera view. I'm putting just sort of flat colors to differentiate the two geometry from each other. The geometry is intelligently laid out with nice UVs. I'm using multi-channel UVs. So this here is one UV. And then I have this other UV region. So this is going to be using UDIM maps so I can get the, a lot of texture detail in this whole thing here is not one UV shape, but this would be like a 2K map and another 2K map and another 2K map and so on, just sort of going all the way down here. So I'm able to have like really lots and lots of texture detail in here. And I've done the same thing on this as well with multiple UV region maps. And then I take that into Photoshop and I have these things laid in here and then I have my photo reference that I've taken and I've taken the street and grabbed it in there and put the street over the green street geometry, just painted that in. Let me show you how I did that on the sidewalk so I go into here and I grab this and I come back into here and I paste it and then transform tool. And I'm paying attention to, I can see from the shadow here, that's the edge of the curb. And so I want to match up this scoot this down here. I want to match up this with the edge of the curb as well. And let me make this like a lower percentage so I can see better what I'm doing. Because I'm going to need to overlap a little bit here. And then I go over to here. And need to stretch this out more across here to get that right. I'm adding in some stuff here to help it to integrate better with the surrounding objects. And basically, I'm just doing photoshop -y stuff in here until I get to a place where I'm happy with it and I've got stuff, the textures sort of blocked in here. And now I'm ready to take this into Mari. So I have my geometry here in Mari and you can load an extra geometry in the objects tab here just with the plus button. And then I'm gonna go over to projectors 
where I'm going to load in my camera and I've saved out the camera as an FBX from Maya. So I'll read that in. And then on the camera, I want to make the transform the same as my HD aspect ratio. So it's 1.77. And I want to make sure that I've got the right field of view on here. Here, the field of view based on Maya should be 35. And then I'm going to import in my matte painting I made in Photoshop. And that puts it in the buffer, and you can see it's like right on top of where it's supposed to go. And I can use this to kind of zoom out and or zoom in and see the full frame of my camera. And also, I need to make sure in painting mode, this is really important, I want masking disabled and I want the bake behavior to be on manual so that it doesn't try to automatically bake stuff. And then here, I also want to make sure that I have all of my masks in the projector disabled. So I'm going to disable that one too. And I want my projection to be set to through. And once I get that all set up, then I have my street selected. And I just come into here and say project. And then I select my other object and say project again. Clear my buffer, rotate my camera around, and you can see how it's painted this onto here. Let me go into flat shaded mode. So this is the texture that's painted onto here. And what it's done is it's taken the projection and baked that into all the UVs. So my UVs here, these are each of these is a 2K map that it's making. So it's therefore able to capture lots of detail. And I can then, basically this is my starting point where I've got like really nice details in here, kind of the overall 90% of the way there thing, which I made in Photoshop, just transfer that over onto the model and now I can start to go in here and you know take some photographs directly above the curb and then come into here and put those individually onto here but with sort of a sense of the broad strokes already being defined through basically through the concept art transferred over to the 3D model. And so as the final step, I would go into the layer. So right now I have the sidewalk selected and I'm in the layer for the sidewalk and I right click, say export all layers. And then I come into here and I'll say that as sidewalk underscore UDIM JPEG. And then I can come into Maya and load in my textures. Make sure I switch them over to Mari UDIMs. And there's my render. Let's switch it to the camera. And there's my render in Maya. 
you can see here the render after all the other objects with textures are loaded in as well, the, the sidewalks and the buildings, the ambulance here, and also we've used some masks to make different material properties for the street, so we're adding in puddles as well as making the street look like it had been recently rained on. So it's just a really straightforward way to go from gathering photographic reference, creating concept art in Photoshop, and then transferring that over directly into your texture maps by projecting it and then baking those projections in Mari onto your geometry as a way of getting you know 90 percent of the way there and having a basis in photographic reference and in concept art. Incidentally this also would work really nicely as a workflow for matte painting on 3D geometry with the exact same workflow. You paint your matte painting in Photoshop and then you project that onto the geometry and then because it's baked into the UVs you can then turn the camera around and get to areas that the projection couldn't see and fix all those areas with multiple projections. So again, it's like a really great workflow for matte painting as well as for texture painting. You can also read these UDIM maps into Nuke. I have here a scene. This is the sidewalk geometry with the maps already applied. And here I've got the street geometry with no maps applied. And that's going into a scene, which is going into a scanline render. And the camera is attached to that. And then I write it out. And so the way that you connect the UDIM maps to this is you just go tab, UDIM import, and then find the maps here for the street, open, select them, you can add a post stamp if you like, then take these and connect to the image, and then it maps them all onto here. And then when I render it through the camera, so this would be a way to do UDIM maps in Nuke as opposed to projections for map paintings.